Hi, we're doing a video today in response to one of the questions from our viewing audience. The question is, after the patients undergo the antiviral protocol for treatment of herpes 1 and or herpes 2, what, they, what can they expect from their lab testing? I've done some other detailed videos on lab testing, but at the same time, you're going to find that there's new knowledge and new research every three to six months, so you can look, look at this as an update, and I'm going to just be very concise to try to help you. The herpes lab testing work is done through looking at antibodies in the bloodstream. The antibodies are IgG and IgM. What the viewing audience needs to recognize is since no conventional clinician has ever considered herpes curable, they just looked at IgG in the bloodstream, they saw it was elevated and said, hey, you have it, you have it now, you have it for life. The refinement in thinking that I'm trying to teach you as a viewing audience and some of my patients is if you are cured or clinically eradicated of herpes in your body, in your nervous system, in the ganglia, in the skin, if it's gone, you could always have IgG because IgG is a long-term memory antibody. So I recently looked at a patient who came in with their Epstein-Barr virus antibody. It was IgG. It was elevated and right under it it said, oh, IgG elevation means you might have been exposed to this in the past. See, no one cares about Epstein-Barr virus. So they just say, you had it, now you don't. Since no one knew you could eradicate herpes, the misnomer, the wrong thinking, is that just because IgG is high, it's possible that the patient uh, can absolutely be cured but have an elevated antibody of IgG. And to prove that, I would suggest that patients who are clinically eradicated will never see IgM short-term spikes, which means the virus is gone from their body, it's not shedding, it's not interacting with the patient's immune system because IgM uh, spikes 7 to 21 days after the infection. So if I've clinically eradicated or cured someone of herpes, you will never see IgM spikes. And it's possible IgG could be maintained at an elevated state for life. And the beauty is, none of us should care about that. Um, medicine and clinical medicine is not as simple as a short video, but I'm really trying to hammer home that we are in uncharted territory for clinicians, and it's obviously very difficult for patients to understand and interpret this information. For more, contact our office directly. I'm happy to consult with any patients that have questions. Thank you.